Bam! What up? Hello? Que pasa? Kadichiwa? Namaste. Fam. We had day 152 of the year of 2020. I'm not gonna hold you long. Cause I'm gonna get directly to the point. First, to the world, go for every ethnic group, every social class, every financial status. It's for everybody. We all been passive and pretty much ignorant for too long. We, we need to identify who the enemy is. Right now, it's a lot of anger in the hearts of a lot of people. And trust me, you see the color of my skin. I've been aware and feeling the target that's been on the backs of people my color far back as I can remember. I'm four decades old, right? On this day. To get to the point. Out of a hundred percent humans, only 99%, 99 percent, 99 percent, we're the ones that's been turned against each other. We're the ones that's been divided, not just black people, everybody. It's only 1% that holds majority of the wealth in the world, the wealth and the resources. And that's where the problem is, that 1%. These other people that we looking at of different color, ain't got nothing to do with color. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, you see my skin tone. So I understand what's being done to us. But for the world, including everybody, identify who the enemy is. Identify who the opposer is, who is the ops. The ops is not skinny versus fat, black versus white, rich versus poor, no. It's none of that. The enemy is the system that was put in place when America was founded. The 13th family, the Illuminated ones, these the ones, everybody been talking for so long, oh, ain't no Illuminati, ain't no this and that. Listen, that should be over with. We in a technology age. It's too much information out here that's showing you that these people exist in real life. There are 13 families last I counted that owns majority of the wealth and the resources in the world. So with that being said, while we're fighting against colors, social status, every other thing in the world we missing out on the, the on the enemy the enemy is the system that's the reason that they've been killing us for so long and getting away with it the system and the ones that believe in that system so with that being said sit back do some research understand who the enemy is and if you don't want to understand that i just told you i just told you who the enemy was it's the system and all those who stand for the system and think it's okay for some somebody to kill somebody in front of the whole world and think it's okay that's the problem okay let me speak to my black people. 
I need all my black people to understand. We, since we have been enslaved and brought over here, and even the ones that was over here in America, when Christopher Columbus so-called founded America, still don't know how you can find something that people that already have been living on. But for my black people, listen, half of the battle is knowing, knowing is half of the battle. And what if you don't already know, I'm finna help you know. We've been trained to hate each other. We've been trained to feel like we less than, less than. Those feelings that you feel like somebody is superior than you, that's been, that's been beating in you. It's been, it's, it's been beating through, through our ancestors. Our people. Knowing is half the battle. So now that I help you understand that you have literally been trained to hate your own kind and to feel like you less than. Now you know that? Unlearn that. We got to unlearn and relearn. Unlearn that. Love yourself. Understand that you are greatness. Go back and look at the history. Now, nah, matter of fact, don't look at the history. Look at her story. Don't look at the, the stuff that they want us to see. Or they, the stuff that they, they taught us. That was the part of them training us. Because they taught us everything they wanted us to know. My people, you've been trained, you've been fooled. Unlearn those ways. Understand who you are and how great your skin color have contributed to life. What we have done, where we have been, who we are at heart. Can't keep killing your, your own kind. Like I said, I know you've been trained. This been trained. This was in your blood when you was born. It's in your genes because your parents and the parents before them, that's what they went through. They was the ones being trained. And the training is still going on to this day. But all I'm saying is we should be smart enough by now to understand what's going on, what's been done to us and who doing it. It's the system. The system was never created for us to be equal to no race. My brothers and sisters, wake up. I learned that. And last, Lee. Police, I'm not calling y'all police no more. Y'all terrorists. And I'm, I got one message for you. If you don't want all the people that's sick of, sick of what you, y'all been allowing y'all fellow workers, co-workers, brothers of blue and all that, we sick of that. If y'all don't want all the people that's sick of that, which is not just black, it's every race around the world. Police, I meant to say terrorists. If y'all don't want us to come clean y'all houses, y'all precincts of the dirty motherfuckers that we've been seeing killing innocent people, Y'all clean them out. I know you got your little oath. If that oath more important to you and, and, and you beside them, nine times out of ten, you're going to get the same due, karma, punishment, consequences that the bad one's going to get. Police, clean out your own house. Before we come clean it out because as you can see the world fed up talking about blacks and whites and this and that 
white people some of the first people i've seen showing some outrageous disgust when i look at these rides and see all this look like they jumped it off first it looked like we needed to see them more pissed off about our situation than we are for us to do something but anyway police officers y'all don't want us to come clean y'all precinct out get rid of your your co-workers that you know on the bullshit seriously i love everybody but i stand on truth and everybody feels truth in their heart everybody know it what's wrong is wrong we don't march we don't turn cheeks both of our cheeks swole we don't got slapped in both of them right now it look like the temperature of the world is I for an eye. If you condone it, just like those three hours, those three uh, offices, uh, uh, those three chairs that watch they co-worker kill George Floyd. Like I said, if you ride with them, you suffer the consequences and the karma that come around. We shouldn't have to come clean out your house. Y'all been letting these little badass, devilish terrorists, racist terrorists in y'all precincts kill folks and get off with it with no consequences. It's over. Police, y'all clean y'all own damn house. Because if not, we will clean it. For everybody, there's, I know everybody's still in anger right now. I'm not speaking on, um, like, condemning what's going on with the burning down of property. People are angry and they finna get this, they finna get that shit off their chest. I understand, trust me. I understand. So with all that being said, my people, identify who the enemy is. The first thing that you can do is put more focus and more emphasis on yourself. Get yourself together. Get in shape, eat right, exercise. Start putting your, the power in your money to use. Spend your money correctly. Why are we gonna keep spending with the same people that's, if they not doing it, they condoning it? No, let's identify the enemies. Let's put them on front street. And, 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 and let's, let's all know who that is. We can, ain't nothing but a little research to find out who feel the way they feel. I don't give a damn why they feel the way they feel. But if anybody can see what just happened to George Floyd, and my condolences and my heart goes out to his family. that have been a lot of us killed and no justice. Get yourself in line first. Once you get yourself in line first, in the process of that is when you are running to like-minded people. You are running to them in the gun range. You are running to them in the feeding store when you're buying your seeds to plant your, your garden. You are running to them at the gyms or walking because they're getting themselves in order. That's what you can do. And as you do that, Trust me, everything will come together. Because the overall goal is to set up a new system. Well, I don't give a, they ain't got to change the old system. Fuck, fuck the old system. We don't have to live by that. Let them run their little racist system and we develop our own. Simple as that. It's simple as that. The day where we watch these terrorists hurt and kill people right in front of us. Hopefully those days are over. Non-action, not, it's not acceptable anymore. Closed mouth, not acceptable anymore. Speak on it, act on it, but don't do nothing. Do something. Love y'all, man. Love y'all.